What's going on guys? So today I will be replacing my CV axle. So if you guys see my last video and I'll be doing the Q&A video probably after I do my CV axle. So hopefully I get more uh, questions. There's already like 30 questions I think. I'm not too sure. And sorry about all the background noise. They are doing construction again and it's, it's going on forever. So I'm trying to get this done before they move up to my street. Well, they are on my street, but I mean move up towards my house. But what I need to do first, of course, Ooh, it's so bright. Take off the wheels. Take off my splitter still. I already take off the bumper. It's over there. I have to jack the car up. And before I jack the car up, take off the axle nut. Most people, what they do is they indent this piece right here so it locks in with the axle. But I don't. I just leave it all like that. I I just check it all the time. It's a 32, 32 uh, millimeter uh, socket. And yeah, this is a really easy task. And then what I do is I normally take off the, the upper ball joint, the one that goes on to your camera kit, take that off, smack with a hammer real quick, it'll drop, and then take off the brake line bracket, so you can move the brake, uh, was it, the brake lines over, pull the axle out, and let me see if I actually have my 32. Damn, it was dark. I don't know if I'm gonna have my 32. I'm gonna be sad if I don't have my 32 mil. I feel like it's somewhere in this bin. Oh, right here. Bam, 32. Make sure it's a one half, not three eighths. Stick it right in there. There you go, and take it out. Boop, with the breaker bar. So bright today. Well, so weird today. There you go. I'm gonna loosen that first, take the splitter off, and then take the wheel off and then jack up the car, drain the tranny fluid, and then show you guys everything from there. Having a hard time taking off the axle nut, so I think I'm gonna resort to this. Milwaukee impact, so So I had some trouble taking off the nuts, so I decided to use the impact and got the accident off. Looking at some loose, splitters off, right over there. And now to jack up the car and take the wheel off. I know for a fact I'm gonna have some crazy cleaning that I'm gonna have to do. Axle grease is not the best thing to clean. It gets everywhere, especially since you're driving and it's spinning and shoots it everywhere. I think that's the only thing I'm not looking forward to. But yeah, let's get to jacking up the car. All right, so the car is jacked up. I took the wheel off ahead of time because it was it's really dirty. So this is all the axle grease from the outer CV loop. That is so nasty. So I gotta clean this part after I do my axles, of course. And then right here is actually it's actually not too bad. I just got over there, but I probably just pressure wash it off. Up there, I'll wipe it off with the rag. And then um, the calipers are, oh my god, so dirty. And then look at that giant glob right there. Look at that. Oh, well focus. But yeah, so we're gonna take these two bolts off, take off the upper ball joint. If it wants to take off the upper ball joint, it'll collapse. And uh, oh, I'm gonna take off the fork that's holding the coil. Just take off the fork. You don't have to take off the coil, just take off the fork. And then um, I thought you're gonna push the rotor over and then you slide the axle out and the nuts right here. So. It's already loose, and yeah, and I think I'm just clean it a bit. It's a bit dirty, so I'm just grab a rag and just start wiping away. Uh, I'll probably use a brake cleaner later or carburetor cleaner, same thing. Oh my god, look at that! I might switch over to my Sony camera because this is a bit dirty. I don't want to get it thinged on my uh, my 70D. Yeah, let's get some cleaning done through that camera though. switched over back to the 780 uh, like the quality better <laughs> now I'm going to take off the fork which is of course a 17 you know I'm gonna be lazy and use an impact the construction in my area never stops it's like so annoying there's a truck coming right now carrying dirt away 
this impact sucks. Move over to Milwaukee. I'm gonna be lazy today because I have um, my um, my shoulder hurts. I have a lot of shoulder pain right now. But I need to get this done because I mean it's my only car, it's my daily, so. And this is a really hard task. If you guys do it yourself, it's pretty easy. Oh, my shoulder hurts so bad. I need to go get a massage. And this CV Axle, I've done, I think, three events with. I think it was, what, one Autoclub Speedway event, the Streets of Willow, wait, two Streets of Willow, and an Autoclub Speedway event, I think. And this is a Rally's Axle. I just forgot if I actually have warranty on this. Your forks out now um one thing a lot of people don't know well i don't know maybe you guys know um the upper ball joint which is part of the camera kit a lot of people tend to tighten to them really tight like to the point where you can't even loosen it i don't tighten it like i don't over tighten it i literally could just use this 70 mil and take it off like that it's not tight or anything and take that off after that you take a hammer you lightly tap the side of the knuckle. Hammer. Just like that. I only hit it twice and it came out. I know a lot of people have a hard time trying to get these out and then they try to use a pick a fork, uh, which the pick a fork fit. Pick a pork. Pick a fork will ruin the ball joint. Yeah, so don't over tighten it. And then uh, I know if you have a slam car, I don't know if any of you guys were slam cars do follow me. It is hard to take off because of course the car slams, so there's a lot more pressure on the ball joint and it gets stuck inside the knuckle. I used to change my axles on my slam car and it would cause so many problems. It's so hard to take off. 10 mil. And I'm sorry if it's, if my camera's in one position. Uh, reason is is because like I said, this is really dirty and I don't want to <laughs> get my camera dirty. Yeah, so sorry if I'm being a little pussy if I'm not trying to touch my camera because I mean, my camera's expensive. I don't, you don't want to get anything dirty. So this is out. Oh, I need to clean this. This shit's really dirty. Try to clean the most out of it and then just bring it to the car wash, turn your wheel all the way in and then just pressure wash the shit out of it. Just like that. Take out the axle nut. Push out the axle by hand. Oh, you can see how busted it is. All right, I need to actually turn my wheel more. All right, so I have the wheel turned all the way. Let's pull the axle off. There you go like that and then um you're gonna have to pry it out from the tranny which i use a flathead i use these these are really handy they're pretty much like pry bars and then ah let's get axle geese all over my arm and then if you didn't drain the tri of course tri fluid will come out and make sure when you're pulling the axle out you're not getting it stuck on the axle seal. And there's the old axle. Just wipe the end of this. I mean, I'm throwing this away. This is it's just the outer boot. Most people replace the CV boot, but what I do is if one of these busts me, I just replace the whole axle. But like I said, I want everything running good on the car. So that's that. Now that that's out, you check up on your axle seal. Uh, you know what? Let me take off my gloves and bring you guys closer. So that seal right there. Make sure it's not torn or anything around the edges where the axle comes out. And then make sure when you put the axle back in, it is uh, it goes in straight so it doesn't rip the seal around. Because if you have a ripped seal, uh, training fluid is going to leak from it. Just have a little more grease to clean up. Now I could not put this in yet. This is after. A lot of special busted. Let no, I'll make a video. Uh, sorry. Huh? I see, I see. Yeah, I'll replace my axle. Here's the new axle. It comes with a new axle nut. When you're uh, putting this on to the car, you gotta make sure that this pin right here goes into the transmission. Um, how you know if it goes in is when you push the axle in, you hear a click. It like, it'll snap in, because this is like a snap ring. It'll snap, and then after that, I'll put grease on this. Like that. And then um, how you do it is, I don't know if you guys are gonna hear it, but you're gonna push it in. Like 
that you're, it'll click in. You gotta make sure that it's turning in within the gears. And after that, we're gonna bend this over, bring down the knuckle. Damn, I should put gloves back on. Some of this good, good. So put it on the splines of the axle. All around. I don't know if most of you guys do this, but I do it all the time. Also inside the knuckle, where the wheel bearing is. There's already a lot in there. You might have to mess with it until it goes in. There we go. I'm gonna line up with the splines. Push this in. And then you gotta use the new one or the old one, but I'll just use the new one since he gave it to me. Put some grease in between. Just like that. Spin it back on. Hopefully the new one's a 32. I'm gonna be so mad if it's not. Yep. <laughs> I had a time where like I got an ax nut from O'Reilly's. You know? And it wasn't a 32. Alright, so ax was in. Put the fourth back in. It's more than emotion. I feel never gonna stop. Cause I'm falling deep, I guess the pressure's built right up. With all All right, so some time has passed, and I cleaned up a bit. Well, that I need to put it away. And uh, I cleaned the wheels. I didn't record me filming this, or I mean, record me cleaning this, because it took a while. Axle grease, it's so hard to clean off on wheels, and it stained the sticker, so whatever. But overall, the wheels cleaned up good, so gotta put that back on. And then I dropped the car down and put tranny fluid in, and the car is straight from there and I'm really hungry oh might get some Mexican food that's probably like the best bet right now yeah so I'm gonna put my wheel back on drop it on tranny fluid and go for a drive <laughs> done finished everything off that training fluid tightened the axe tightened the lug nuts uh, torque them down I mean and now I am just gonna go get some food and after that, I'm gonna film another segment after this but overall hopefully you guys are just kind of understood the um, basics or how to install a axle CV axle and put a training fluid and everything so if you guys like this video comment like subscribe dislike up to you guys and I'm gonna get some food, I'm hungry, and if you guys have any more questions to ask me, let me know. Drop it down in the comment, I'll respond to it. So, yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day too, after you guys watched this video and enjoyed it, so, peace. And for direct, which is right here, this is the O'Reilly's brand, and supposedly, I, I told them, or I, I asked them if it was and there is uh, supposedly a lifetime warranty in these, I'm not sure, you have to bring the old axle, but